In this video, we're going to see if we can create an overpainting to shore up the edges of our petal here. I'm going to do this top middle petal. And one of the things I need to do first is go ahead and make a overpainting layer. I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to call it overpainting. Now, the overpainting is supposed to clear up things. So, because of that, I want to make sure that. Yes, I'm kind of painting along these same edges, but I'm going to be paying close attention to what's going on. Uh, for example, I'm going to notice that this is flipping over the edge. The edge of the petal is kind of flipping over itself. I'm going to notice that the edge on this side is light and then softens as it goes in towards the middle. Now, in order to do that, I want to definitely make some changes here. I'm going to zoom in and make this move over some. So it's just got that one on there. And let's see. So I want to make a good edge along here. So I could go ahead and paint some along that edge. I could do that like so. And the other thing I can do is I could also use a selection to help me out. So what I'm going to do is create a selection to help out. I'm going to use the regular lasso tool and I'm just going to kind of see if I can move up the edge, curl in and back out. And then come down. And I'm not worried about the other side right now. I just want to do this one. So I've made a selection. Remember, if you're still on a selection tool, you can move it around. Okay. So it, I think it's in a good spot. And what I want to do is kind of work both the inside of the flower and the out while doing this. Now, I don't want it to be a very crisp edge. I want it to have some softness in this case. So I'm going to do select, modify, and feather. And I'm going to just feather it a couple pixels. So that makes it not so, um, I guess, sharp along the edge. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So let's see. I'm going to take the yellow here and go right up against that edge. All right, and then I'm going to get a darker color and kind of get right along that edge again, working along the very last part. Then when I get up to here, I'm going to get that gray, gray down yellow, and I'm going to just make it flop in like so. Then I'm going to do a select inverse so I can select everything but this region and start working out here. Now the key here is, is to make sure first that you cover the line. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is just grab some of this dark brown and I'm going to cover the line. All right, so I have that. And I'll try and be accurate down here. And obviously in some spots I need greens. And so I'll get some greens in there. Just trying to work that area. I'll get some darks. Not quite black, but getting there. I'm not really worried about getting it too far into the texture. I'll play with that later. Uh, right now, I just want to get some some of this looking similar. And bigger brush here. And just sampling a few colors as I go. Trying to paint that out. Okay. So you end up with a crisp edge along that. Now, to hide my selection momentarily I'm going to do control H and you can see how it's made a nice crisp edge along that side and I've got that little bit of orange glow that's occurring right along the very edge and that's really what I want okay so now I'm going to uh, shift back and deselect because it's actually still there let me control H so you can see that so it's still there I'm just gonna do a select deselect and get rid of that so now I just want to see if I can work this area to be yellow but not worrying about the actual texture or the redness down here so let's do that let's work that area and just see if I can get some lines going along the length and definitely want to take some of that smooth that down um, definitely have some greener grayish color coming up through here in the middle and we'll work that and let's see got some darker color up here I'm going to start from off the page and go onto the page over here I've got 
Well, this is actually a fuzzier region. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to show you another selection method to help do this edge and to help create this. Well, it kind of looks like an ear right there. Anyway, it's definitely ear-like. And so what I'm going to do is zoom out. And I'm going to switch to the elliptical marquee. It's your circular selection tool. And I'm going to create a curve that seems to mimic that shape. Now, I don't care if I make it in the exact right spot yet, because I'll always just move it over. So a little taller, and then just move it right to there, like that. Yeah, so I think this is a good spot. And just like the other side, I'm going to kind of work that color down first along the edge. So we'll start with that. And I'm going to make my brush fuzzier because in general this is a fuzzier region. So I'm going to take the hardness down and we'll paint down that edge. Paint down that edge. Kind of, yeah, just like so. Not worrying about the fact that it gets lighter at the edge yet. I also need to probably do a feather on it, so we're going to do select modify feather. We'll do the same feathers before. I think not all the petals in here require a feather, but I think these ones do. And I'm going to definitely get this color all the way down to the bottom here along that edge. Okay, and, and let's see if we can get that a little darker. Now right here, I want to definitely get it darker here, no problem. I'll just paint over that area. And it's okay if I do that. And then I'll get it a little lighter as we go over the top. There we go. Kind of like that. Now, how do I make this light edge here? And what we have to do is definitely have a soft brush. Make it bigger, right? Make it bigger and get that light color. So I'm going to get a much lighter color. And I'm going to stay outside the edge of this marquee. So let's see how that works. Come down right along the edge like so yeah something like that and a little bit right there yeah okay and now I'm going to do a select inverse which selects the background and just like over here before I'm gonna work that those colors in so we'll do that let's start with uh, some of that I'm gonna definitely make my brush sharper again and let's get some of that color coming through you know, working that whole side first, just make sure you have something on that whole edge. Work it down a little further. I'll fix that when I do that petal. And then I can start doing some of the more accurate colors. Let's see here. So we'll get that green and we'll make that smaller. Let's work some of these. So you can kind of see, not, not really working too much here uh, to make it, you know, I just want to get some of these colors to come in here and just like that and then some green up here and some light green you know kind of crossing over things giving it little blurry areas just you know it's kind of like a little crisscross mesh of garbage coming in here because in the end that's just going to get blurred anyway all right, and then when we say select, deselect, you can see that we have this nice curve on that one too. If you need to do some wrinkles in it, it's not a big deal to do that. All you do is grab your uh, finger tool, have it on a pretty high percentage, and just kind of push on it like that. <laughs> It'll roughen that up that little edge wherever you need it. Now, the only other thing I wanted to do is work along this edge here, in this edge here, so you can kind of see how that would work. And then I'm going to do the rest of the petals in a fast painting. So let's um, you know, see a little problem here. I'm just going to fix that a little bit. I'll definitely cover that up with some textures later, so it'll be okay. All right, so to get this edge right, uh, I'm going to, once again, just use a selection tool. And I'm going to go right along that edge, something like that. And we'll work the next petal over for a second, kind of coming down from that edge. But I do want you to notice that there's these little red things along it. So what I'm going to do is make a very small, very crisp edge brush, you know, 70%. I'm going to get a red in here and just kind of wiggle down like so along that edge. Something like so. And we'll deselect and you see how that makes a little red edge. We'll do the same thing on this side. 
and that's how we will set up our painting for overpainting.